So there have been lots of questions in regards to ball player, how to create a ball player, how to change his loadout, how to upgrade his overall, all that good stuff. And I am probably one of the furthest ones when it comes to the loadout and the archetypes and leveling my ball player up as opposed to being a bronze level, let's say. And I have some answers for you. So as you can all see, I'm a 67 overall shortstop. Now, if I were to want to be a catcher, which is slick fielding bronze, I would select that and then I could keep my contact seven and I could also keep my power six. I would be a 63 overall in this case, correct? But when you press square to view the program, which is on the bottom left for all of you, and you continue to see what his silver archetype would be for being a catcher, keep in mind, you would see that he gets sparking slickster, slugging slickster, and speedy slickster. So we go ahead and we back out of this and we click on any of those three, speedy, sparking, and slugging. And you see a difference instantly. You see this one states center field, which means I would be a primary center fielder. This one states shortstop, meaning I would be a primary shortstop. Now this one has increased blocking, so you might say to yourself, all right, so that means that I can put on my catcher since he has all those secondary positions. I'll get back to that in a second. And then this one says slugging, which is third base, right? So I went ahead and I put the catcher one because the catcher one is the one that had blocking. And I said, this is probably the closest one I'm going to get. And if I go ahead and put that as my primary, it changes the program and actually allows me to work towards a gold archetype, which I also completed. Now, while doing this, you have different missions to do with each and every single archetype you select as your primary loadout. Now, while doing this, what I discovered was that he cannot play catcher as a secondary. You would literally throw a ball in the dirt and instead of getting a blocking animation, he would stand up and basically shield his cup. He wouldn't try to block the ball. You throw him an off-speed pitch and it's a pass ball and the ball would literally hit off the glove. They cannot play their secondary positions. They can only play their primary positions. So I said to myself, okay, if that's the case, then I might as well put him at shortstop and see what happens when I go ahead and upgrade him to gold. But you guys can't see right now. So let me go ahead and change the camera real quick. You can't see it or you couldn't see it, but now you could. And my arm is a 26. You can't be a shortstop with an arm strength of 26. But some way, somehow, we still managed to go ahead and level him up. So we leveled him up and we got the two gold archetypes that you see here from him being a shortstop, which are the wizard and the mechanical man. Now, with the mechanical man and the wizard, what was I expecting? I was expecting some way, somehow, that it would either let me be a catcher or let me be a shortstop, the two positions I planned on making my Diamond Dynasty player primaries at. So, I pressed on the mechanical man and it still said shortstop. I said, okay. I pressed on the wizard and it still said shortstop. Although the wizard has some blocking to it, it still states shortstop. So I said, all right, let me go all the way to the diamond one and maybe some way, somehow we will be getting a diamond archetype, but instead it says the wizard. So if it says the wizard and the gold wizard was a shortstop, then that leads me to believe instantly that the diamond wizard is going to be the same thing. Now, when you also go to the wizard and you go all the way to the end, it says they focus on fielding, contact, and speed. So this seems to be the contact archetype, if you ask me. And then if you select the mechanical man, which is the one that I'm currently working with, because it selects both sides of the contact spectrum, you go to the program. And then once again, the diamond version is the mechanical man. And it states it focuses on fielding, contact, and power. So this is clearly what I'm looking for because I'm looking for a catcher that can field the ball, has contact, and has some pop. That's what we all want. That's what we all are creating catchers for. And as you can see, I'm already six tenths of the way there. I got 59 points earned and I'm still playing Diamond Dynasty. And yes, in case you're wondering, it does not work 
inroad to the show when it comes to tallying these stats and tracking them to upgrade your player it does not work it only works for diamond dynasty why i don't know i would tell you to contact us yes i wouldn't know what to tell you so next thing you might be wondering is all right so if that's the case how do we upgrade our overall and it's pretty simple you upgrade your overall by loadouts and the loadouts are basically the primary archetype and then the three perks you select that is what a complete loadout is so you would think that okay getting contact seven getting power six or power five power six i believe i'm not even 100 positive anymore but i'm positive that's power six like 100 and then fielding seven you would assume okay if those are all gold the player would be at least an 80 overall but no i'm still a 67 overall and then in diamond dynasty it also seems to be bugged because in diamond dynasty you enter and you're still a 65 overall bronze card even though inside the game your attributes are one of a gold card inside the game like if you compare my in-game attributes which i will show in a second to let's say david fletcher you will see that in terms of attributes i am near david fletcher but let's go ahead and show you all how overalls work basically so you see i have the contact one selected if i were to drop to any other contact none of them would increase my overall except for contact one contact one would go ahead and that's silver contact one upgrade my contact versus left right and vision and it would drop my power by four i'm not trying to have my power dropped i'm trying to hit nukes so clearly i wouldn't want that and then you go through the perks and you see that having an extra fielding perk also increases your overall up to a 69 overall clearly i don't want to sacrifice my contact in order to get a better fielding attribute since my fielding attribute is perfectly fine but the way that loadouts work the way that perks work it makes you sacrifice something in order to go ahead and raise an attribute for example you would think that a fielding perk as this gold fielding perk is that I have right here, you would think that it would just increase everything in terms of fielding because that's what you'd expect a fielding perk to do. No, it actually increases only fielding, your arm accuracy, and your reaction, and decreases your arm strength. Like, how in the world do you equip a perk to become a better fielder and you actually decrease in terms of skill level in terms of fielding? That doesn't make any sense and it shouldn't be a sacrifice we have to make you go to power and if you're a power hitter it makes you decrease your fielding and reaction time that is a little bit more acceptable in my opinion because usually the best power hitters in the game are corner infielders corner outfielders and we all know that most of the times those guys aren't the best guys in the world in terms of fielding but we're not trying to be a corner outfield we're not trying to be a corner infielder we're not trying to replicate a player inside the game we're trying to create our own road to the show player we're trying to create our own ball player and we're trying to be the best player we can be within every single attribute in that position so you go to contact and this is the gold contact and i have these three gold perks because as you level up in the program you get more and more gold perks this one increases your contact on both sides, your vision, and then it decreases your fielding by more than the power did, and then it also decreases your speed. So then it left me wondering again, how in the world does equipping a contact perk or becoming better in terms of contact decrease your fielding or speed? Like, the whole system, in my opinion, is one that they rushed out so they could have something completely new with roll to the show and it just did not make any sense and the way they've implemented it into the game with no real explanation because yes you can go on the shownation.com and you can read all about roll to the show and ball player and how to create a ball player and upgrade a ball player but without us seeing an actual demonstration of how it's done like video wise not still pictures it's very difficult and I don't know if it's a bug in diamond dynasty i don't know if it's a bug in road to the show well i would believe that both of them are bugs but those are two things that you would expect the show nation or their twitter to address instantly and say hey we know there's a bug going on you guys are gonna have to excuse us we're gonna work on fixing it as soon as possible 
so this is what I'm going to do personally I'm going to go ahead and finish this program right I'm gonna get the mechanical man and I'm going to see if he's still a shortstop which he most likely will be and I will see his overall and what he transfers to in Diamond Dynasty now you might be asking yourself well what would have happened if you would have made him a third baseman at the silver well that's perfect we'll go to third base at the silver and as you can see I keep both of these but my primary changes which means that I have a separate brand new program to work for and when you press on the archetypes it says Iron Man and El Mago now I would be led to believe that both of these are once again third base archetypes considering the shortstops or third base archetypes you do the same thing for center field for example and you're most likely going to get the same thing you go all the way to the right it's a brand new program it's called either the belly or the fly chaser this is obviously named after cody bellinger so there's that and the other one is basically tracking fly balls and becoming a better fielder clearly both of them sound like just like the shortstop and just like the third baseman both of them sound like they are going to be favoring that same position so my question is how in the world do they make this game and they do not make a gold archetype or a silver archetype for catchers for us to go ahead and use now let's talk about the attributes when it comes to entering diamond dynasty because that's where i wanted to use my creative player right so we go into diamond dynasty right and we press minus squad and you will see that his attributes are horrendously low as opposed to what we saw in the player card and if you press triangle there's a bug where it shows everything as 30 that is not correct but if we were to go ahead and try to play a play versus cpu game let's say against the orioles and we were home and we went to our player blade miss you would see that with equipment and everything on he has 81 contact against both sides 62 power against both sides and then he has gold reaction gold fielding and then a horrendous arm strength now if you look at some players like david fletcher for example he's an 89 overall and we're not too far away from him so the 65 overall that we see right here it has to be bugged and the tragic thing is i don't think they can fix any of this until tuesday because i don't think they can bring out a patch for the game until tuesday so it's unfortunate to say the least i really hope that they some way somehow fix this because ball player to me was one of the things i looked towards to or forwards to in terms of diamond dynasty having my catcher there because i don't like any of the catchers that they usually give us in the game and in general playing role to the show is just something that i enjoy doing on my own time but you can't even do that correctly you can't even work towards diamond dynasty as they promised and all of that because the whole system is just horrendous now hopefully without within a day or two you see me upload the diamond archetype we upgraded it to diamond etc and there i will have a better explanation of what happens but until then you guys are just gonna have to take this explanation which i got for you all so if you did end up enjoying today's content make sure to hit that like button red subscribe button don't forget to follow me on all social medias at blade miss click on the community tab interact with me there click on more blade miss subscribe to my other channels turn on that notification bell and then become a member of the channel if you would like to have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i will catch you all on the next one peace out